Putin ally makes nuclear threats to UK and France. Kremlin propagandist Vladimir Solovyov has suggested launching nuclear strikes on two members of the NATO military alliance. According to Newsweek, Solovyov, an ally of Russian President Vladimir Putin and a state TV host, issued the warnings during two separate broadcasts of his show Evening with Vladimir Solovyov and Sunday Evening with Vladimir Solovyov. The Daily Beast's Julia Davis shared excerpts of the broadcasts on X. The notion that Russia could strike NATO members in response to the aid and weapons they've provided Ukraine in the ongoing war has been floated by Solovyov and many other Russian officials regularly since the conflict began in February 2022. Meanwhile, in Russia, Vladimir Solovyov assured fellow propagandists that none of them will be tried after the war is over because by then the British will have been eradicated through nuclear strikes, wrote Davis of the first state TV clip. Meanwhile, in Russia, Easter would be incomplete without Vladimir Solovyov's nuclear threats to France, she wrote in another post sharing the broadcast. In the first state TV clip, Vladimir Kornilov, a political scientist, began by saying that the British newspaper The Daily Telegraph openly wrote that the Russian people are responsible. After the war ends, absolutely everyone has to be tried, including Patriarch Kirill. Solovyov interjected, Pardon, who is going to judge us? The British. Kornilov responded. Solovyov continued by issuing his first nuclear warning. The country, by that point in time, will be buried under a radioactive wave, he said. Kornilov said he hopes it won't get to a nuclear war. It won't. The radioactive tsunami will just wipe it away. Solovyov replied. In the second state TV broadcast, Solovyov criticized Paris Mayor Anne Hidalgo for saying over the weekend that Russian and Belarusian athletes were not welcome at this year's Olympics, which is being held in the French capital. I want to remind this unpleasant, ugly Nazi beast that today is the 210th anniversary of the Russian army entering Paris. Both back then and now, we couldn't care less whether or not you are glad to see us. Whenever we need to destroy all of you, we will do it, said Solovyov. He added, so Paris, you don't want to welcome our athletes? Welcome our hypersonics. Fast, reliable and very unpleasant. Transfer of ATA CMS missiles to Ukraine is no longer as risky, U.S. top general. The transfer of long-range ATA CMS missiles from the United States to Ukraine is no longer as risky as it was before, states the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff of the United States, General Charles Brown. In a conversation with journalists, Brown stated that the risk of escalation during the transfer of ATA CMS missiles to Ukraine is not as high as it might have initially seemed. In 2022, Russia publicly stated that providing such weapons to Ukraine would supposedly cross a red line. At the same time, the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, General Mark Milley, stated that people in academic circles, analytical centers, or other forms of analysis refer to this as declaratory policy. This refers to statements made by high-ranking officials discussing what they will or will not do if certain actions occur. Top military officials speaking on the background have pointed to Russian military doctrine specifically as it relates to so-called existential risk, saying that giving Ukraine such weapons could compel a nuclear response from Russia or spur it to attack a NATO partner, the source writes. The US general stated that Russia's restrained response to a series of recent attacks by Ukrainian drones deep into Russian territory allowed the Pentagon to adjust its risk analysis for sending ATA CMS. Those are the things that we pay attention to. You know what is the likelihood of escalation based on different capabilities and different actions, he said. Last year, Ukrainian soldiers struck Russian airfields in Luhansk and Berdyansk. Information emerged in the media that the armed forces of Ukraine used American long-range ATA CMS missiles for the strike, which were provided in small quantities. Later, the U.S. confirmed this information, specifying that the missiles provided to our soldiers had a range of up to 165 kilometers. As early as October 2023, Ukrainian Foreign Minister Dmitro Kuleba stated that the supply of ATA CMS to Ukraine would be ongoing. Recently, the American agency NBC News reported that the White House is working to provide Ukraine with new, powerful, long-range ballistic missiles.